be seated. God bless you. Please listen to this um, short information. We, I announced it on yesterday. I announced it today. I want you to keep it that date in your diary. And which was good, then make yourself available. On the 9th of October, at St. Thomas' time, me and my wife, we want to do our, our wedding church. So you are not happy about that. It is too late. There is nothing you can do about that. It's better you happy and co cooperate with me. We, you know that we have done the registry, but um, registry is not the baker. Registry for the government to know you. Governments can wed you together. Iron and fire today. I separate you two. According to the word of God in the book of Genesis 24, that is the real wedding. Two parties come together, they bless their daughter, they lead it to other family. So they bless the two of them. And Pastor Leke is coming, church blessing. We are going to do it all at once on Saturday. For the engagement, introduction, whatever. All on Saturday, church blessing also on Saturday on the night. So please put it in your diary. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. So as the program will be going on, the wedding committee we address the church. And second thing I want us to know that um, we we should not be lazy, too lazy about the situation we are this corona period. Corona is gone. Oh, it's gone. Say amen to that. Amen. God may give us grace. Online is not biblical. Watching program online is not biblical. But we are watching online because of the situation warranted it, but the situation is gone. Don't allow the virus or pandemic to take you away from the presence of God. A lot of benefit in the presence of God when we come together and online. Some people, when you are watching online or you are praying online, you may be in your kitchen, cooking, busy, and you put your your iPad or whatever by your side. So you are not concentrate. You are not. And coming to the, house to, to the house of God together, when the word of God is going on, you can be getting your deliverance. You may come with garment of non-achievement and the angel can come and remove it from you. But online they can't do that. For so this period, we should summon courage to strengthen ourselves, to return back to our maker. To return back to our maker. Stop online, 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 online. Coronavirus is gone. Let's come back to the house of God, in the presence of God. Where you will understand what they are saying to you, not online. They may say something important, and online can fail. You will not hear that portion. I may be for you shall be well with us in Jesus name please let us take this to heart online is not biblical Mine come because there's a situation warranted a lot of people they have duped through online yes or no there are a lot of people telling you send money send this send this send that shall be well with you in Jesus name 
praise the Lord. And we, we have the CD of the cassette we, we, I think about four Sundays ago, powerful CD from the choir, very powerful CD that brings something into the soul. I think the CD, is it available? Then the one that they show you now is three weeks ago also. Why are we, am I doing this? I don't want you to be playing the worthless CD in your car that will not bring something to your soul, that will not change your orientation. All this worldly, I call it worldly cases. In the olden days, the, the, the gospel music, when you, are, when you are hearing it, when you are praying it, you begin to feel something in your system, in your, in your, in your spirit, yes or no? But today you can't feel it. Because the, even though the people are doing the records, playing the record for you, doing the record, what's the record for you, they are not in the spirit. So those are the kind of messages you can be hearing in your car when you have, because I know a lot of people is when you are driving, you have time. Slot it, you listen to the melody and the content of the CD. So please, my dear people in the Lord, let us uh, bring our soul and spirit closer to God. See the songs, the hymns. Say, draw me nearer. He has drawn you. It is you that will release yourself to be drawn. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Let's stand on our feet while we worship the Lord Almighty this afternoon. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you above me. Awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place, I'm a father. Awesome in this place, mighty God. One more time, you are awesome in this place. Begin to receive your next spirit to your spirit right now. Welcome into your heart. Ask him to come and take control. Tell him you are welcome into my soul, spirit, and body. Tell him that you are my humble father. Call him the name that you know that is there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Open our hearts this morning, O God. We will make ourselves available to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Be quiet for one minute. Be quiet, please. Make yourself available to him. Let him fill your spirit. Let him break every stronghold that causes stopping block in your life. Just be quiet. Set your heart on him. The author and the finisher of your salvation. Receive the Holy Spirit to your heart now. Yes, Holy Spirit. Touch 
Oh yes. Holy Spirit, please usher be at a light. Don't let anyone fall. Close your eyes. Set your mind on him. Let him feel your spirit. Maribo Sondo Kuriaba. Holy Spirit, touch! Makariaba Sende Kurima Sende Le Kuriaba Sanda. You are handsome in this house of God. Fill the heart of your people, including me. Let your good hand be upon us now. Holy Spirit, you welcome. Touch his life. Change his life. Move like not before Holy Spirit. Touch! Yes. Feel our soul. Feel our spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way. Oh, have your way. Oh, Lord, in this place, have your way. I am that I am. Have your way. Oh, have your way. Abraham, have your way, oh, have your way, oh, Lord, have your way, oh, Lord, it touch me, it close your eyes and receive it, receive it into your heart. I know what joy that in my soul, Marabasanda le Kuriaba. Something, something happened. I know he touched me. Amen. Living water, he touched me by my soul. He touched me, yeah. I know the joy that fills my soul. Oh, something I put, something. Touch me and make me whole. Let the living water flow by my soul. Close your eyes and receive it. Holy Spirit, let your Holy Spirit come and take up. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. That has wrong. Oh, yes. My, my God, God. touch my kids and bodies. Oh, my kids and bodies. Oh, God, to No 
no music. Let the living water flow without music. Quiet. Let the Holy Spirit come and take Holy Spirit come, come and take control. control. Every situation in this house right now, Every prepare the mind of your people to hear you. Open our hearts, fill us with your word. Open our understanding, breathe in us, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the holy name. We worship you. Father, we give you all the glory once again this afternoon. As we are going to your word, breathe in us. The Bible says you breathe to your disciple and you say to them, receive the Holy Spirit. And in that scripture say you breathe unto them and their eyes is open. To comprehend with the scriptures. Father, today, open our hearts. Prepare us for your word. Fill us with your spirit. Every negative situation that is contrary to your will, by your word, terminate them. Every stronghold against your people, including me and the church, Lord, we pray, by your word, Break the stronghold. Amen. Destroy every stronghold. Amen. By your word, make us clean. Amen. And let your name alone be glorified. Holy Spirit, come and speak yourself to your people. Satan will nullify you in this place. You have no any, any, any part in this meeting. We send you out and we bind you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. A louder amen. amen. A louder amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Be seated in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Um, without wasting our time this morning, we have started a message titled, I am innocent of the blood of all men, which we use the book of Acts, and we give us some scriptures which we know that we understand it. Today we are continuing the part two, as we know by the principle of this message we based on repentance. message is I am innocent of blood of all men we are looking into the part to repent and I'm taking the reading from the book of Matthew 3 verse 1 to 10 Matthew 3 verse 1 to 10 I want every one of us to, 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 to read it together very quickly Matthew 3 verse 1 to 10 we are talking of Repentance, genuine repentance. By the end, this, this message can take us to two or three months. But at the end, maybe two or three Sundays, for us to end it, we come to restitution. We want to know the meaning of restitution after you have met with Christ, given your life, confess your sin, you will repent genuinely. The next thing is to restitute. Next thing is to what? Place off your phone. Off your phone, please. Off your phone, please. Praise the Lord. Matthew 3 from verse 1 to 10. Very quickly, please, media, you flow with us this morning. Let's go. In those days... 
John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of God at his hand. For this is who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one cry in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John himself was clothed in camel hair, yes? Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him, and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Broad of vipers, who want you to flee from the law to come? Take note of that. Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance. Let's repeat that place, number eight, then number seven and eight. Seven and eight, let's go. But when he saw many of Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Broad of vipers, who warned you to flee from the rod to come? Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance. Number nine, and do not think to say to yourself, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from this stone. It will not be your portion. It will not replace you in the mighty name of Jesus. Last verse. And even now the axe is laid on the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Say it will not be my portion. I will not be trained to the fire. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen and amen. What Paul and John is telling them is, Abraham can only save himself. We are the child of Abraham. We are the descendant of Abraham. If you don't do what Abraham does, forget about salvation. Forget about the kingdom of God. Everybody will bear his own cross. That is what John is telling them. Paul is telling us last week that I'm innocent of all the blood of all men, which we, we see the scripture, it is true. After he has met Christ. But today we want to look into repentance. And how can someone get to be repent? How can you repent? The message will be in two or three place parts, but I will quickly explain it for us. If you look at number Matthew number three, verse one, Matthew three, verse one, the Bible makes us to understand that John began his own ministry with repentance. Repent. When he was preaching, he started with repent. In Matthew 4, verse 17, Matthew 4, verse 17, when Jesus also wanted to start his own ministry, he said from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, what? 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 Yes, let's go. For the kingdom... No, no, give us... Where are you going to? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You may be saying, because some people are saying, they have been saying it longest year. Yes, you may be helping them say it or follow them to say it. The more, the moment you give up, you yield your ghost, the kingdom of God is, 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 is at your hand. You may be saying, ah, John, over 200,000 years, is that not the moment you yield your ghost, your own kingdom has come. 
The word of God is mystery. It's mystery. So never follow them. Oh, that is how they are doing. That is how they are saying. They have been saying it during my fall, my the during the time of my forefathers. My no, 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 no. The moment you yield your ghost, this script shall be fulfilled on you. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. The ministry that Jesus gave to us, all over everyone, believers, is the ministry of the kingdom of God. Repent. When he was departed, about to go in Matthew 28, don't go there, leave it. He was telling us, teach them to observe what I've taught you. To observe what? The kingdom of God. Without repentance, there is no how you can make it in life. I pray that we will understand in Jesus' name. Before someone can repent genuinely, first thing you will do is to acknowledge. First thing for you to do is to what? To acknowledge. You will acknowledge your wrong. You will acknowledge what you are doing. First thing first, if you don't acknowledge, there is no how you can repent. If you don't realize that what you are doing is not in line up with Christ, there is no how you can repent. You will think that you are doing good thing. How do I know? In the book of Psalm 51, verse 3 to 4, Psalm 51, verse 3 to 4, David said, verse 3 to 4, for I acknowledge my wrong, my transgressions. I have acknowledged. What I did, it is not good. I took someone's wife by force. I destroyed him. I killed him because of his wife. He acknowledged. For you to repent, you must acknowledge. Without acknowledgement, you can't repent. Am I speaking to believers? My transgression and my sin is always before me. Always. When you did it and you know that this is not good, the sin. Always, always, always. Busy body, always before me. Envy, always before me. Hypocrite, always. By biting. Busy body. Go from house to house as we show us the scripture yesterday. And last Sunday is always before you. Against you. You only I have seen. Against who? Not human being. Not friends. I told you last week, whatever you did, you wicked your friend. But you sinned against God. If I'm speaking evil against my brother, I did not sin against him. I wicked him, I sinned against his God. The God who sees in the secret place, he will reward you openly. How do I know? If you look at the book of Exodus, don't go there, just the number, don't go there. Number 12, number 16, don't go there, leave it for me. Moses did not know what Korah, Datan, and Nabira are doing against him. Moses did not know in the book of Numbers, number 12 what Miriam and Aaron are doing. But God sees it and he called them to the tabernacle of meeting. And he, he, he explained what they are doing against the ministry of Moses. Then Moses said, Daddy, if it is that, don't, 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 don't let them die normal, natural death the way people die. Cause something to happen. And God opened his, the, the earth opened his mouth and swallowed them. God has no respect of any person. We are talking of genuine repentance. Do we acknowledge what are before you? And don't this even in your sight. No one sees me. Amen. Come, my daughter, very quickly. Come. It will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. It's someone's wife. And I'm keeping her as my gay friend. Then we are going to far away from distant from my area for our area. We went to a hotel. I said, look front. You look front. I look back. Is there anybody? He say no, but we don't look up. Go and sit down. You tell your girlfriend and that person's wife, look front. 
Is anybody let me look back? Then we enter into the hotel. Did you look up? Am I speaking? In your sight that you may be fine just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Find just when you speak and be blameless is your shadow. The Bible is complete. When you do it, you sin and you pick this, your shadow pick it together with you. You kill. Nobody sees you. Your shadow do it. So on the day of judgment, ka, 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 your shadow will stand and you will stand. So when you begin to tell lies, your shadow says, shut up. We do this together. That you may be fine just when you speak and be blameless when you do. The shadow is not just there. God knows what he's doing. It's your photocopy. That is your witness. He will tell you, shut up. Then they will reverse your cases, your CD from the day when you came to this world, within one second. Am I preaching to us? Psalm 32, verse 5. Psalm 32, verse 5. Do you have um, you have um, Jota? You don't have Jota. Please give her Jota. It's not, she's not here when they are sharing it. Give her one. Give her. Give her. A song one. If you don't have Jota, wave your hands. On the, no, she be they give to you when. Okay, let me give to that sister. Wave your hand if you don't have Jota here. Please give them Jota. Sister Taiwo, while you collect um convention, okay, please if you don't have the convention package, please try to see mommy before you go. It will give you your own uh, or sister Ore. Sister Ore is here. Sister Ore will give it. Praise the Lord. I want everybody to write something down. This is, this is the message you need. And I will show you a message in this that I'm preaching prosperity to you. How many of you know that I'm preaching prosperity now? I will show it to you. Not until what I say, come to the church, want to preach prosperity. Bring more. No, I'm preaching prosperity for you now. But you don't understand it. Praise the Lord. Hi. 32 verse 3, five, verse 5. Let's read together. Let, let's go. I acknowledge my sin to who? Not to your friends. Not to your pastor. Not to your husband, not to your wife, not to neighbor. I acknowledge my sin to you, capital Y, that is God. And my iniquity I have not hiding. When I do the example of me and that sister, we go, we, we, we go to the hotel, she look front, I look back, she look left, I look right, and we jump into the hotel. It's not hide from him. I said, I will confess my transgression. When you acknowledge, you confess. And it's ready to pardon. To the Lord. And you forgive the iniquity of my sin. Selah. So when you don't acknowledge, you can't confess. And when you don't confess, he can't forgive. Am I speaking? Luke 9, verse 8, and 19. Luke 19, verse 8. Luke 19, verse 8. Luke 19, verse 8. Then Sarkeus stood and said to the Lord, He acknowledged and confirms. He acknowledged and confirms it. Look, Lord, I have given half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything 
he confirms there is restitution. We will get there, not now. From anyone by false accusation, he acknowledged it. He knew that he did it. You borrow money from somebody, the time that you're supposed to pay, you did not pay it. Instead of you to say, sorry, my sister, sorry, my brother, you are, you are messing that person up. You are quarreling with him. What do you have? Who are you? Money means road. But when you want to borrow the money, you say, bro, bro, bro. Amen. I restore for food. Luke 5, verse 18, verse 8. Luke 5, verse 8. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I'm a civil man, O Lord. He acknowledged. He acknowledged that I am a sinner, but the one that can forgive me is near, and he fell down at his knees. Why can't you begin to think of whereby you have wronged your fellow human being, your friends, your husband, your wife? Why can't you begin to think of it now and begin to meditate in your heart that Lord, through your word, forgive me. Through your word, do what? Forgive me. And he will forgive you. You acknowledge your wrong and you're doing. What are you doing? Which is not in order. Second Kings 7 verse 9. They say what we are doing is wrong. We are not doing the right thing. Then they say to one another, we are not doing right. We are not doing, you know that what you are doing is wrong. Someone is influenced you against your God. You know it. Someone is destroying somebody for you and you know the type of person that they are destroying. You know it. No one that, that, that doing evil that they don't know himself. Here they said that then they said to one another, we are not doing right. Praise the Lord. Now let us go back to the book of Matthew 3, verse 7. Verse 7 to 10, Matthew 3, verse, verse 7, we will see what happened that people, people, but when is the, he saw many of the Pharisees and Pharisees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Brother Vipers, who want you to flee from the rod to come? He was telling them, are you coming to, 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 to see what you are doing or you are coming to repent? Are you here today under the sound of my voice that you will check yourself and you will say, Lord, I am sorry? Are you complete as the preacher that preaching to you is not complete? Nobody is complete, nobody is perfect. Until when we get to the heaven that we know who is preaching the gospel. But when we get to the heaven that you know, you will understand who is listening to the gospel. Are you listening to me? Who want you to flee from the road to come? Yes? Therefore, what did he say? Let's read it loud and clear. What did he say? Bear fruit. Bear fruit. Repentance. Bear fruit. Worthy of repentance, not partial, not in hypocrisy way. Don't allow anybody to influence you. Don't allow anybody to tell you what you know that is right. Don't let them call right wrong for you. Don't let them call wrong right for you. I'm saying it. There is no any man of God that can 
change my mind to what I know. What I know and what I know that it is right and it is real in the Bible. There is no way you can change my mind. Because you will not stand in the presence of God when he's judging me to bear it. Therefore, bear fruit worthy of repentance. Number nine. And do not think to say to yourself, we have Abraham our father, for I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from this stone. No wonder that the Bible says in the book of Matthew 5.20, Jesus says something clearly there. Matthew 5.20, Jesus said, let's read it together, please, let's read it together loud, loud and clear. For I say to you, huh? repeat it, huh? unless, repeat that unless, three times, uh -huh. your who is that talking to? You personally. Which means the Pharisees are, they are righteous, but in hypocrite's way. So Jesus now, when he's teaching us, he was telling us, unless our own is far exceed than they. What is the work of the Pharisees? They kill men of God, they thought they are doing God good. Like you and I, we buy bite, we destroy, we block people's way, don't go to church. We block people's way, we, we weigh their spirit down. So we are Pharisees also. You know the right thing to do, you do not do it. You are Pharisees. So Jesus said here, unless, for I say to you, that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of who? Huh? And you by no means Enter the kingdom. How many of us want to enter into the kingdom of God? Everyone wants to enter, but you work it out. Who are the scribes? When the Bible says scribe, who are the scribes? What do you know about scribe? When they say Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribe, who is scribe? Huh? This, uh, the secretary of the church. They are described. The people that take note, they mean it something down. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Am I speaking to believer? Let us now go to Galatians 5, verse 7. Galatians 5, verse 7. What did he say to us? We are talking about repentance. Verse 7, not 1. Verse 7. Galatians 1, verse 7. Place. If you are there, you can read it for me. Galatia 1, verse 7. Let's go. You run well. Who hinder you from obeying the truth? In Matthew 3, John was telling them, Who asked you to flee? In Galatians 5, 7, Paul Apostle said, You run well. Who hinder you? From obeying the truth. That your friend that want to mislead you, why can't you correct him or her? Why can't you open the scripture to him or her? That is why I said we should bring out our jota, you write something down. So that if anybody wants to, you know, uh, mislead you or whatever, you don't know the scripture of it, bring out your jota, tell your friends, let's sit down together for five, ten minutes, let's study the word of God. By the time we finish with him or her, the Holy Spirit will minister to you. Am I speaking? One of our sisters in this house, we are teaching of this about repentance. I think um, last year, before, I think before coronavirus, we are, we, are teaching, we are teaching about repentance. So, I'm the one who took the last lecture. So, I pieced it for them. And when we finished, the sister came to my, to my office he said, Daddy, I want to repent. I don't know how to, how to do it. He said, in my heart, I hate my husband. I'm telling the truth. He said, I hate my husband. He said, but today, I was touched by this. 
He said, even though when he's making love with me, I hate him. And he said, I've pa- I, in my heart, I've packed my load. I want to leave his dad. They don't leave. What is the matter? He told me. He said, okay, don't worry. I will call your husband in my office. I called the man, and the man is the kind of man that leads him. Say this thing, you have done it, that your wife is not, it's not happy. This, 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 this. And when we are, when I minister to them, then the Holy Spirit minister to them. Son, way that this thing can be said to you. This is this way. Say, thank you, Father. He look at me. I say, sir, what you did is wrong. And this man, woman is not happy. And it can cause things in your life. Who asked you to do it? He's looking at me. Say, look at, hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. I said, the woman that is pregnant and give birth to you and causes this woman to hate you. Say, the Lord said to me, this son, that boy, not your son. Say, go and do DNA. And the brother summoned courage, he traveled to Nigeria and went to go and do the DNA. Getting the result is negative. Came back here, I called the two of them. Sister said, I forgive you. Why God gave us the solution? Because the sister has repented. Don't repent, you can't get a solution. Are you listening to me? Because the sister have repented to forgive the man. And God says, son, this is the solution. Marriage is blessed today. They are still in this church. They are living happily. The strange woman and the strange son have get out for their life. But if both of them today, if their Christ come, they will make heaven. Because they have repented from their dead work. And the thing that can cause stubborn block in their way not to make heaven, God has pushed him away. Repentance is very important. If you want to be blessed. If you want to prosper. See what people are doing that is not good. Don't add it to it. Talk to them. Talk to them. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. In Acts 2, 36 to 39, Acts 2, 36 to 39, Peter was talking to all the nation. When the, when the day of Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, he was talking to all nations at once. At once. Therefore, at once. Why? He was telling them that they should repent. He was preaching the repentance message to them. And in 36, it says, Therefore, let all the house of the new life in Christ ministry know assuredly that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucify, both Lord and Christ. Now, when they had this, let's go, let's go, they were caught to the heart. No wonder that the Bible said the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than the edge of the sword. Plenishing into the inner arrow, breaking every stronghold, destroy the devil that have hidden your heart, remove the demons that want you to make mix heaven. The word of God, if they are preaching it to you, we are they are preaching the real word of God, there is no right on pastor there. Where they are preaching the word of the kingdom. There's no, oh, our pastor, you are hot. Who is hot? Everybody, the place will cool. You begin to pick your own out of the world. Both the preacher, both the teacher, and both the members. Don't you know that through preaching, through the word we are speaking, a preacher can, can, be, can be seen. Don't know that. Because if the preacher say what he did not supposed to say, he write it for them. The 
Now when they had this, they were caught to the heart. Let's go. And said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what should we do? You must acknowledge your doing and you will ask what to do. Sister came to me. He said, what am I going to do, sir? Solution came. The marriage is in place. What should we do? Let's read the rest. What happened? What did Peter say to them? Let's go. Then Peter said to them, Repent! Number one! Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This work, this way I'm coming from, what I'm coming to now about prosperity. After repentance, there's something that you are going to receive. Then you will receive the Holy Spirit. You will receive the Holy Spirit. As I told you, that I'm preaching to you. The message about prosperity. Let's look at it one, one after the other before we go. In Proverbs 28 verse 13, Proverbs 38 verse 13, what did he say? Proverbs 28 verse 13, it says, Proverbs 2, 8, 13. Do he who, let's go. So, how can you prosper? Even though when they are raising money in the church, when they are cajole you, oh, I can see the glory of God in this system. Ah, see, I can see the hand of God upon you and you'll be carried away. God said, can you give him 1,000 pounds? Because they have cajole you. They have make your head to swell up. Amen. They say, my daughter, they don't know that it's pancake. They say the glory of God is shining. They are cajoling you. And the Bible said those who cover their sin shall not prosper. And they are preaching prosperity to you. Where are you going to get it? Who will prosper you? Am I speaking? So I'm preaching about prosperity when you repent. Let's go. But whoever confirms and forsake them shall have Mercy. First Corinthians 12, verse 4. First Corinthians 12, verse 4 is talking about gift in the book of Acts 2. Peter said, When you repent and confess, you will the, there's a gift of the Holy Spirit given to you. And what is the gift? The gift, what is it going to do in your life? It will make you to prosper. Someone say, I will prosper. Therefore, he said, there are diversity of gifts. But the same Spirit, yes. There are different ministry, but the same Lord. And there are a diversity of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. Now let's go. Verse 7. To profit. Peter said, repent. And receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Paul says that, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. You profit in everything. You prosper. You succeed. You break through. You be established. Nobody will cajole you. You don't wait for any man to pray for you before you be blessed. Why? Because you are right in your place of God and he will release it to you. That's what Peter told them. And let everybody receive the spirit of the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Paul Apostle explained it to us here. The manifestation of that gift is for you to profit. But if you don't repent, if you don't confess, how can you receive the gift? How can you receive the Holy Spirit? 
How can your brain work? How can God open your eyes to the hiding riches of secret place when your hand is full of blood? As the Bible not tells lost that if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Isaiah 1 verse 19. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. If you want to prosper, you follow what the Bible is saying. Why are you not risen within yourself now and repent from the dead work? According to Hebrews 1, verse, Hebrews 6, verse 1. Hebrews 6, verse 1. Hebrews 6, verse 1 says. Let's read it together. Therefore, leaving the discussion of elementary. What is the discussion? Elementary. Primary school. You are no money in primary we cannot be giving you uh, 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 milk to drink anymore. If I give this my daughter milk every day, can you be okay? No, you need pounded yam to be fufu with a bowl of soup. You balance with it. Amen. But they give you milk. Why you are over? Am I speaking? The Bible says we should leave the elementary principle of Christ. Is el you, you don't pamper it. You don't corner it. Say to them at it is. When they go, Holy Spirit will trouble them. A family came here. Is it not... Um, is it June Olua Dasini or July? Is it July Olua Dasini? June Olua Dasini. And we are in that room. You remember? The power of God came down mightily. He spoke to them, talked to the whole family, and they left. June, July, all of a sudden we saw them last week Sunday. And when I didn't know that they have met with Pastor Solomon, and the husband said, I'm a full member of this church. He said, because what Papa ministered to me since then, I don't, have, I don't get myself. If I sleep, he's speaking to me. If I wake up, he's speaking to me. At my work, he's speaking, he's troubling my mind. And when I call them just to say, we appreciate you fellowship with us today, he says, sir, what you said two months ago, it's still ringing in my body. I don't have peace. I don't have rest. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Your own is to preach to them. Leave them with the Holy Spirit to perfect. Nobody can win so. Say nobody can come to me except my father draws in. And whoever comes to me, I will not wise caster. There is no any preacher I can preach. I can win so. I'm always saying it, and I, was, I can say it in international conference. Pastor don't have member. The member have. Are you listening? Pastor don't know his member. But the member know their. Are you listening to me? Ah, it's my member. Who told you? Because you see him or her sitting at your front today. His mind is in MFM. He's planning the program that we do this week. Oh, I, power must change that. Ah, no, heaven must open. And it's in your front. It's not your member. Am I speaking to you? That's why Jesus Christ said, I know my sheep. My sheep knows me. When they hear of me, they obey me. So no pastor should boast that I have member. Member here. But member has pastor. You don't choose member. Member choose you. 
Put your hands together for member. <laughs> member, you will increase. You didn't say amen. amen. I say you will increase. Amen. Hebrews 6 verse 1, Therefore leave the discussion of elementary principle of Christ. Let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God. We should stop drinking milk. We should start in eating solid food. The Bible said it. First Peter 2, verse 1 and 2. Soon adding up. First Peter 2, verse 1 and 2. First Peter 2, 1 and 2. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ. First Peter 2. First Peter 2. Therefore, let's read it together. He's talking to every one of us. Let's, let's, let's go. Therefore, lay aside from today. Let's stop there. If you are keeping malice with someone here today, raise up your hand. The people you are keeping malice is, they are in this church. Wave your hand, please. Don't be ashamed. This today is yours. You may go out there and the, 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 the end may come. If you are keeping malice in this house, you are still keeping malice with someone. Wave your hand. What I will say to you, God, just go and meet the person and greet. Settle the matter. I don't need you for that. That is what I need you for. I preach the message here. Maybe you can remember that if you are keeping malice with anyone here, stand up. Nearly the half of the church. Nearly. Were you here by then? You are here. You are here. Starting you are here by then. You came to church. You are here. Nearly the, 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 the half of the church. Man. Can we be multiplied in sin? My eyes cannot behold iniquity. Let me tell you, there is no prayer we can pray that will be answered. It's not there. Say, they draw near me, but in their hearts, they are far away. And Peter was telling us, therefore, lay aside from today. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Why are you keeping malice? I told you time we don't number here. When we are in Shofalaha in Ijesha, you know, face me and face you house, my pastor dad died dad, in my firstborn. Mommy was quarreling with someone. They are quarreling. A tenant and tenant. They are quarreling. And they, they bear the same name. And they are quarreling. Heavy one. Then one day, I went to work. Mommy was taking his shower. And daddy used to play with football. And the ball now dropped into the well. Very small boy. And he wanted to pick he was looking at the ball. So he saw his shadow. He saw his shadow in the well. And he wanted to jump there to pick the ball. The woman that he's quarreling with was coming. And he did not shout. If the woman shout, they will enter. And the woman grabbed her. And the woman shouted. Mommy came out with soap on her body. So... When, when I came back, I told mommy, this is not your enemy. This is your friend. We are fighting doesn't mean we are an enemy. Anything can happen. Settle it immediately. If that woman is, she's her enemy, they can just help the boy quickly. Because nobody see her. But I told mommy, and immediately they settled the matter. Why are you keeping malice? The person you are keeping malice with today, can take you to your higher ground tomorrow. Don't allow Satan to fill your hearts. I went to a place yesterday. I saw one of the members of this show that have left. And I was telling the person that invited me. I say, is that not so, so, so? He say, yes. I say, why did not greet me? He say, he greeted me. I say, he did not. He say, can I call her? I say, don't call her. 
I wanted to, but I don't want insult. I wanted to tell her to call her. And what, I, what the Holy Spirit laid to my heart to tell her is that, sister, did I offended you to the extent to kill me? I would just tell her, I offended you, forgive me because your Christ can come today. But it's the party. Just kept quiet. If it is the only days, I will call her myself. Sir, ma, you pass here. I'm, I'm a former, your pastor. I have released blessing upon you before. You have served under me before. And you are keeping my list. Tell her, don't repent. And I will first ask her, what is my offense? I believe you will not see anything to say. You leave a place the same way you can keep my list. We can come back tomorrow. We can meet tomorrow. God can establish tomorrow and call me. I can be there. That is why I don't keep malice. Therefore, lay aside all malice or deceit. What's next? Hypocrites, don't play double game. Don't play what? Peter did it and Paul Apostle told him of four people. This sister is my daughter. We come in together, we go out together. And he know that this side is not another. And when I'm not there, it be so when I'm coming, no, hypocrites. If you want to be Ojo, be Ojo. If you want to be Dada, be Dada. If you are not Dada, you are not Ojo. Where are you? Peter says they will split you out. Envy. If you are envy, you will not be able to do anything. Come. Come, quickly. If you see, ah, are they calling deadlock? I'll be dead go. It's not deadlock. <laughs> Oh, that sister do deadlock. Okay, dread. Okay, your own is lock, not dread. Okay, we shall call it. Ah, that sister. He did what? Lock. I want to go and do it. It can't fit you. Because you envy. Do what will fit you. The sister is cutting her hair. If you cut your own, you will just be like dog. I was telling my wife before I will buy clothes inside me. If I see the clothes, I will know that this clothes is, will fit me. I don't just buy clothes. You will know that this thing will fit me. And don't dress because of anybody. Dress for yourself and for your God. Put on whatever you want to put on because of your own body and your God. I want to oppress. When you finish your, your hours by the mirror, the people you want to oppress, when you go there, you will know that you are nowhere to be found. Because oppression is waiting you. The people that know how to oppress. What you put on, you will know that is panda. I'm telling you, am I speaking the truth? I see that my daughter. It's not dreadlock, Abby. When you are putting lock in your head, so you lock your brain, <laughs> not you. I'm just preaching. Amen. You know, I told you I can preach to you, you will be laugh. But this matter is not a matter of love. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you. The truth. That is why some people are not prosper. All these things. Heaviness, people, some people are having heart attacks sir, because of envy. Some people have missed it. Because of envy. Your destiny is different to my own. Why are you envy? You can jealous good thing. The Bible confirms it. But not to kill. Oh, I admire that sister. Sister, where do you bought that? Who is your tailor? And the sister, there is a sister who told me here. The same clothes. They sew it. It fits that sister. 
and another one, they sow it. It just be like. So the sister has the sister. This is the same cloth. I will sow it. And the sister says, Tell her. Fashion designer, we are just, we are just his packaging. Tailor is tailor. He said, the tailor who sow for me, I pay 40,000 to sow. But you pay 5,000. I think there's a difference. So, roadside tailor is different to the tailor that know what he is. And that is why when you go to the store, the same polo shirt, you can see it five pounds here, you can see it 30 pounds somewhere, it's different. Buy the five pounds, five pounds own, you wash it one, it's fade away. The 30 pounds own will still be using it. So the difference is clear. They know what they are selling. Praise the Lord. And all evil speaking, and all evil speaking, we are talking of repentance. Please repent today and let God settle your case. First Corinthians 13 verse 11. I'm stopping here. I have many things to, to say to you, but we'll start from that place next week. About repentance can be painful, difficult, tearful. We'll hear that one clearly and full next. Let's go. We read it together. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, and I understood as a child. I taught as a child, but when I became a man, I put away from this moment, put it away. Elementary doctrine, childish idea, put it away. Malice, put it away. Rods, put it away. By biting, put it away. Stealing, put it away. Even though in your, at your workplace, don't bring their tissue home. If they don't say you should bring, you can. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If they don't give it to you, don't bring it home. Let me give you an example and say a true story. Someone went to his neighbor to go and borrow matches. Maybe you hear this story. To go and borrow matches just to use one stick for as to his stove. So when he wants to restore the matches, he removed two. And when he died, God said, You are a true worshiper, you serve me, but you are, you, are, you are a thief. He says, Sir, I'm not a thief. God said, You are a thief. You borrow matches from your neighbor, you use one. When you are going to return it, you remove two stick. You can't enter. Go and settle. Can we have the grace? Let us ask ourselves. Did you walk to that level that God can tell you when you get to heaven that my son and my daughter, I don't want your work to be born. Let me give you another chance. Go back to the world and settle. I think I've seen two or three people that God sent back after four days that they should go and settle before they come back. Can you have the grace? Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Everything has grief. So from this moment, if they, don't, if they don't give you anything at your work, don't take it. They can say to you, you can use anything unless if they say if you are going, you can take one tissue home. <laughs> Am I speaking? It shall be well with us. There's a time that I took um collect you here. And mommy was asking me, what do you want to do with it? I said, of course, we don't have a toilet tissue in our home. He said, I will buy. Are you listening to me? He said, I will buy. I said, but I'm a pastor of the church. He said, when they buy it, uh, they say, pastor, this is your own. Telling you. 
And one day when I need something, I is it pastors? I say, Pastor, I need this thing. No, I want to use it. So it's my witness. Don't say you are a pastor in the church when people are bringing. Take it home. So you are entitled for it. God have mercy. God bless you. Amen. When God did not say raise money for me, I preached message everybody. I said God said we should bring 500 pounds because I preached a good message. You bring it out. Did God send me? It shall be well with us. I say it shall be well with us. Repentance may be difficult, may be painful. We hear that one next week. That is why we will run it up with these songs. Maybe choir can help me. When a musician gets repent, repentance and he, sung, he, 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 he sings the song. All bad things I used to do, I do them no more. All thing, ba 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 thing, I used to say, I say that no more. All things that you used to see, I, I see that no more. No more. Yeah, I say great change, see sign my God. All bad people I used to meet, I, I meet that no more. no more. All the bad, 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 bad people I used to meet. I mean, I mean that no more. All no oh, the bad, bad places I used to go, I, I go there no more. No more. The ice great, great change. Since I no go. Stand on your feet. Why can you help me to sing it very well? Sanyo Okosu, when he become a born again, he composed his song. All oh, the bad, bad food I used to eat, I eat there no more. All no more. Oh, the bad, bad talk I used to talk, I talk there no more. All no no oh, the bad, bad place I used to go, I go there no more. There is great change since I am my God. There is great change since I am oh. Glory to God. Since I am oh. Great change since I am my God. There is great change. Since I'm a Christ, let me sing it for you. I like, I like. That's the great change. Since I'm a Christ, that's great change. Since I'm a Christ, that's the great change. Since I'm a Christ, that's the great. Change since I'm a cross. What about you? Great change. My cry. Ha! Great change. Oh, since I'm a cross. That is great change. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. Ah, Almighty, he is the layman. When the cripple saw him, they started walking. Even today, our Lord is doing good, is doing good. What do he good almighty he like? Oh, so he the 
anywhere is one. He was the listing. Almighty Ela is the layman. When the people saw him, they started walking. Even today, our Lord is doing good, is doing good. My God, he is a man. Oh, when people saw him, they started One of us, yeah. on the way to Kafari, he went for me. He died to save me. Why can't you give your life to him totally today as we are singing? On the way to why can't you surrender your life? Why can't you be a repentant, a new repenter in his presence? Why can't you leave the elementary doctrine? Why can't you change your mind today? Remember that I pay the price for your salvation. One more time, one more time. On the way to Calvary. Well from you. Hallelujah. Raise up your right hand. If you want to give your life to Christ totally today, you can come to front, or if you want to rededicate your life, you can join them. But if every one of us that are here today that we know that if Christ come today, that we reign with Him, raise up your right hand. Say, Father, raise up your right hand. Say, Father. Whereby I have transgressed against you. Today, use your blood to wipe it away. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, accept me today. Whereby I have transgressed against you, Lord Jesus, at this hour, after this message, cleanse me by your word. Let your name be glorified. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Continue with me from this moment and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Be seated, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. I've declared your word to your people. Establish your word in our hearts. In Jesus' name, we pray. Very quickly, if you came late, you are not yet drop your offering and your tithes. Please, let us do quickly. Choir. On the way to Calvary. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, you want to sing it? For me, all the way to Calvary. You want to pay your tithe and you want to drop your offering, please? You came late, you have not dropped your tithe and your offering. Cause I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up That I will turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus someday Oh goodbye world I stay no longer with you Goodbye treasures of sin and stay no longer with you I made up my mind To go God's way for the rest of my life I made up my mind To go God's way for the rest of my life With bomb, bomb, bomb again Thank God I'm born again Bomb, bomb, bomb again 
Father, we thank you, we give you all the glory, we honor you for whom you are, for what you have done, for the offering and the tithe of your people. Father, by your word, sanctify this offering, sanctify the tithes, let your fire come down from your holy mountain, and to receive this sacrifice, bless the work of the hand of your people. Lord, rebuke the voter, cancel failure, and let your name alone be glorified. Let the offering and the tithe be useful for the glorify of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Before we bring the meeting to an end, uh, we are meeting all the workers in the house on Saturday next, this week by 4 p.m. If you want to become, if you want to become a, 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 a part of the workers of this house and you have not yet get this uh, workers manual, please, you can collect it from Pastor Solomon. You can come and collect it now. If you want to, uh, if you want to become the part of the uh, um, 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 workers in the house. So you can take it home, study it very well, so that when we are asking questions about it, you'll be able to understand what you are saying. If you are led by the Spirit of God, that, okay, I want to be part of the member of this church, not for me to be coming and going. I want to join uh, any department that the Holy Spirit is leading me to. Maybe you are there before, you want to be consigned, you want to come back, the Holy Spirit will minister to you, you can come and have it, then you study it by 4 p.m. on Saturday, just only one hour, you want to uh, discuss some issue with all the workers after the lockdown so that we can see how we can move forward the house of God. It shall be well with you so you can collect it from Pastor Solomon. And please, if you are here today, there is a partnership with, 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 with the New Life in Christ ministry. Why are we sharing this is, I want all the members of this church to be part of it, part of it. either you are a visitor, either you are a new member, either you are an old member. Why are we doing this partnership? So that we can be using the money to maintain the house of God. This heater is over three years that we service it like that is 2018. You know, last year we were not here for pandemic. And the moment that the, the, the uh, summer left now, winter will come. And I don't want anyone to be coming to the house of God to catch pneumonia or whatever. So the, the, the heater will not be working. We want to call the company who came to fix it to come and service it for us. So that is why we want to be partner with the new life. So whatever we are raising through this partnership, we'll be using it to renovate the house of God. The toilet there, we don't want it to destroy again. So we have to be maintaining it as it is. So this, for, uh, this card is partnership with us. So there's a place you will fill to, to, to set a standing order from one pound to one million pounds. Any amount you know that you can be you can be given to us every month uh, through direct uh, standing order. Please fill it there, bank name, whatever. Every the details is there. The usher will be giving it to you. Please raise up your hand and they give it to you. You are not yet get it. Many people have got it. Please, if you got it last week and you fill it, please return it to Pastor Solomon or to any of the usher. Any amount, there is no small amount for every month so that we can be able to, 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 to maintain the house of God. So please raise up your hand. Every member of this church, you must do it. If you are members of this church and you love TNSCM, you, you, you must do it. It's under most for the, for the members. The members, the visitors, the friends of the church, Please make sure that you take it, fill it, and return it back to us. So we process it, we take it to the bank, that we process it. God bless you, and as you are doing so, please return it back to us. Please and please. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And there is one that we are going to, that is going to be with us. I will be praying about it 24-7 on daily basis. We'll be praying for you. 
and it shall be well with you in Jesus name the Lord God Almighty will meet your need also at the point of need be part sister Mary have you got your own please give them and the sister Abu are there please help us to feel it very well it shall be well with you and return it back to all the people who get their own yesterday return it the people who took, who took it away on Sunday please return it back to us so that we can process it it shall be well with you in Jesus name praise the Lord let's stand on our feet and share the grace in, share the grace together in fellowship if, if, if you came late and you are just coming to the church today Right. This is your first time of coming to this house and you came late. We have not yet welcomed you. Please wave your hand where you are. We want to welcome you. If there is none, let's, let's, let's share the grace together in fellowship. And if you join the church, please feel free. Whatever you are doing, where you are coming from, keep the fire burning. Don't let the fire quench. Feel free to see Pastor Solomon and tell him the department you want to join. You are welcome. What will happen will take you through the, the doctrine of the new life in Christ ministry so we can see how we can do things together. It shall be well with you. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, or the sweet flesh of the Holy Spirit, be with me right now and forevermore. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy have follow me. All the days of my life shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Don't forget again for the people who came late that October 9, put it in your diary, October 9 will be the day, the, the, the day that the Lord has made that say we should rejoice and be glad in it. So me, God bless you. So, I know that we are prepared for that day. So that day will be the day that me and mommy, we, we do our, are we call it marriage or wedding, introduction, engagement, and, and anything engage, anything engage. Amen. So it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. The church blessing is in the church. Pastor Leke is coming again, our means. To bless us. So on the 9th of October, put it in your diary. It shall be well with you. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and speak to your neighbor. Say something nicely to your neighbor. Say, my neighbor, this week will be your week. Week of success. Week of breakthrough. Week of testimony. Say, my neighbor, every good thing that will be expecting in this week, right from now, the Lord will give them to you. Say, my neighbor, you have received it already. I cannot wait to hear your testimony. Turn to your neighbor say, neighbor, from this moment, surely his goodness and his mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.